So for this pattern, you're going to want to cast on in multiples of eight stitches. So this pattern consists of 12 rows to form the pattern, and some of the rows are repeated throughout. So I will list which rows share the same pattern. So row one will be the right side of our work. You can even put a marker so that you know what is the right, but technically it's reversible. So that's the back, and that is the front. So this can be used reversible. The row one is the right side of our work, and rows and row one's pattern also is the repeat on row eight. So for those rows, we're going to begin a repeat of purl four. Knit four, and you're going to repeat that all the way across. Then for rows two and nine, we're going to repeat the same pattern of purl three. Knit four, purl one, and we're going to repeat that all the way across. For rows three and ten, we're going to begin a repeat of knit two. Purl four, knit two, and we're going to repeat that across. For rows four and eleven, we're going to begin a repeat of purl one. Knit four, purl three, and repeat that across. For rows five and twelve, we're going to begin a repeat of knit four. Purl four, I'm going to repeat that across. For row six, we're going to begin a repeat of knit, knit three. Purl four. Knit one. Repeat that all the way across. For row seven, we're going to begin a repeat of knit one, purl four, knit three. I'm just going to repeat that across. And there's the final pattern. So just repeat rows 1 through 12 to form your pattern. Hope you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.